Now let's straight away get into the concepts of Vedic mathematics, that is calculations part. We'll first deal with additions. Now maybe you're wondering what is so great about additions? Additions is such an easy topic and what is, you know, we have to learn in that. But let me tell you the power of additions. Additions are a base to mathematics. If you can master additions, you can conquer mathematics. That is the power of additions. In our Vedic math, Additions happens to be the longest topic in Vedic mathematics because with additions only we do everything else in mathematics. Yes, in our Vedic math by using additions we deal with the other operations. By using additions we deal with subtractions, multiplications and divisions also. All using additions, yes. So now how is it possible? How we can do subtraction using addition? How we can do multiplication using addition? How we can, we, I mean, how we can do division using addition? I'm going to show it in the higher aspects to come, okay? But as of now, we'll first understand how our ancient Indians have developed this additions topic, okay? Now, first we all know that there are basically 10 digits in mathematics, right? So, 0 to 9, okay? So, what they did first, with this 0 to 9 digits, no, 10 digits and infinite numbers, understand that. All the numbers are made up of 10 digits. Digits are 10, numbers are infinite okay right now using this 10 digits what they did they created some permutations and combinations now what did they do they first took this 10 digits 0 through 9 now what they did they first took 0 and then they did some combinations with 0 like you know they added 0 plus 0 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 0 plus 3 through 0 plus 9, they get 10 combinations, right? Again, they did the same thing with 1. They added 1 to 0, then add 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, through 1 plus 9. They get 10 combinations. With every digit, they did the same thing. They did the same permutations and combinations. Like 2 plus 0, 2 plus 1 through 2 plus 9, then 3 plus 0 to 3 plus 9, 4 plus 0 to 4 plus 9, 5 plus 0 to 5 plus 9, like that. 9 plus 0 to 9 plus 9. They first created all these like you know 10 permutations and 100 combinations okay and then what they did you know with this 100 combinations they have conquered additions now this is called the addition table now just uh, verify this addition table what you can see on the screen now now this addition table is so easy so easy that you don't even have to use your brain also now, just, you know, based on, I'll be asking questions based on this, uh, you know, uh, this table only. Now, answer me these questions, okay? Now, how much is 2 plus 2? How much is 5 plus 3? How much is 2 plus 6? How much is 6 plus 2? How much is 1 plus 4? How much is 5 plus 3? How much is 2 plus 7? How much is 4 plus 6? How much is 3 plus 5? Was it easy? Yes, so you could probably answer it in no time, right? Okay, one last set. Okay, just try this again. Now, those who haven't performed well in the previous one, now you must perform fast, okay? I'll ask two numbers addition. You have to answer it in a jiffy, okay? Start. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 8 plus 7. Ah, wait, wait. Oh, now see, yeah. Now probably you are a bit stuck, right? All the previous numbers was very easy to add up. But this one, what I asked you right now, 8 plus 7, it was probably not that easy, right? Not as easy as 1 plus 2 or 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 2 or 5 plus 3, right? Yes. Why it happened so? Because this number is adding to more than 10. Whatever combinations I asked you previously, they were all 10 and below 10. But this combination, what I asked you, it is adding to more than 10. Now that's the, you know, game, okay? So now what you have to do from this list of, uh, you know, 100 combinations, what you see right now, what they did, now look at the way how they actually like, you know, filtered this easy combinations from this 100 combinations, right? First, look at, uh, examine the zero, zero combinations, okay? 
Zero is a very easy number. Now, because with zero, okay, whatever numbers you add to zero, it will be the same number, right? So zero plus four is four, five and five, six is six, zero plus seven is seven, zero plus nine is nine, right? So whatever combinations add up to 10, they are very easy to catch up. But whatever combinations are going beyond 10, the brain can't catch up fast. Now from this, we will first, like you know, filter out the combinations which are adding to like, uh, you know, 10 and more than 10, okay? 